you guys and welcome back to the channel it's Regina here and today we are doing a DIY I plan to turn this round tabletop it is about 17 inches and I'm going to attempt to make a door hanger we're gonna see how this goes <laughs> but um purchased this from Home Depot nine bucks I'm about to sand it down because it has a couple of little uh, dings and little dents and stuff in there so I'm gonna sand this bad boy down hopefully take it off and stain it tonight so tomorrow I can personalize it so the plan is to use this all year round but what I plan to do is change out the flowers to match the season so I already have some fall flowers um, come Christmas I'm gonna change out the flowers on here so Christmas Eve, then spring, and then summer. All right, y'all, so we are going to get started. I'm using 160 grit sandpaper to sand this down. And then I'm going to tape it off so I can start applying the stain. You want to make sure that it is even, and you also want to make sure you press down on the edges of the tape so um, there's no bleeding. If you are new here, my name is Rogina. I am a boy mom, a working mom, and I film lifestyle and home videos right here on YouTube. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. So the stain I'm using is Jocko Bean by Midwax. I love this stain. I have used it several times and it is so pretty. This is what it's looking like so far. I did get a little stain here, over here from like my gloves, but that's cool because I'm gonna paint this part. I don't know what color yet though. <laughs> but I am gonna paint this part. And it looks much better. I had to go back and sand this area because, oh baby. I had to go back and sand this edging just because it was really rough and raw. And if you've ever stained wood before, when you have like a really rough edge, it will absorb a lot of stain. So it's gonna be like really dark around the edge. But yeah, I love this stain. So, 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 so pretty. So the next day I decided to make the stain area a little bit bigger. Um, 
which was actually not smart later on down the line once I decided to do the um, pencil transfer because the stain is gorgeous, but it's so dark you can't see the pencil. So if you're going to do this, you may want to do the pencil transfer on a white or light surface and just put the stain at the top where your um, bow and florals are going to be. some sample paint laying around so I decided to use that to paint the top of this and this is Swiss Coffee by Bear. <music> just removing the painters tape you want to do this while the paint is still wet <laughs> okay so in order to do the pencil transfer you want to print off your lettering whatever font you want to use the d is baskerville and the home sweet home is bromello um, you want to take the lettering and flip it over and just cover the entire area of the letter on the back of the paper with pencil and I'm using pretty big font, uh, if I remember correctly. I think this font size is like $750 um, for the D. And I think the Home Sweet Home is like $600. So it is pretty big font. Then you want to flip the paper over, make sure it's centered. And then just trace out the outlines of the letter. And then the pencil will show up. Now, you can't see my pencil marks because before, like I told you, this stain was way too dark. If I were to do this again, I would just keep it the way I had it at first where it was small amount of stain at the top where the florals and the bow is going to be. And then where the lettering is, just paint it and it would have showed up like so much better. <laughs> Thank you. 
So before I go any further, I'm adding some D hooks to the back so I can hang this on the door. And I picked these up at Walmart. I think they were like $2 and they come two in a pack. <music> So if you look really close, you can see the outline of the D. Now I'm just going in with some latex paint. I would not suggest latex paint. If you are painting this by hand, I would definitely suggest acrylic paint because acrylic paint just paints a lot smoother and easier. Um, this was a struggle to get it, first of all, straight and to not make it look messy. And I have been going back and forth about getting a Cricut and this project definitely made me want to get one. <laughs> oh, just like the struggle of this D alone. I just cannot. <music> So now we're moving on to the home sweet home part. I did the same transfer method with the pencil. This time I decided to outline it with um, a black permanent marker first and then go in with black acrylic paint to uh, fill it in. And this made it so, so much easier. 
But what I will say, if you're going to do this, you may want to use a paint pen instead of um, a permanent marker. Because once I put the polyurethane on here, it did bleed like a little bit. So maybe a paint pen would do a lot better. So yeah, the acrylic paint is much, much easier to use if you're hand painting this. Like I painted Home Sweet Home so fast. After all of the paint was dry, I sealed this with three coats of polyurethane. So these are the florals and ribbon that I'm using. If you watched my fall haul, you've seen these already. I'm just going to make a bow and then make um, just some florals to go across the top. And I am using zip ties to hold my bow and all of my florals together. This I don't know where I saw this. I saw somebody, you, I was watching a tutorial, so, so, so somebody do this. It may have been Olivia's Romantic Home. I think that's the name of her channel, but she does like a gazillion DIYs and she used these zip ties instead of like floral wire. And I was like, that is such a good idea. And y'all, I am not a professional bow maker, so... <laughs> Please excuse my bow if it's looking janky. It's, I mean, it was cute enough for the door hanger. And for me, if I was selling this, I probably would have just bought a bow. This is how it looks with the little florals on top. It's so cute and I love the frosted pumpkins. <music> so now I'm taking a C hook and um, adding it to the top. I personally next time if I ever do this again. I would um, use those Velcro stickers, like the little small circular ones, and just glue one side to the back of the florals. I think that's just a way better idea, um, and I might probably end up changing it out. So now I'm just adding some ribbon, and I'm tying knots. Do not do this. Do not tie knots. Just take your ribbon, fold it over itself, and hot glue it together. Just, just make a little fold. Don't add the knots to this because it's going to make it stick out way further from the door than you want it to. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I will see you in the next video.